Hello everyone, Danny here for another Tough Love Tuesday. I'm coming to you from outside on my deck where I have been working for the last hour or two. It is so beautiful outside. I just have to get out when the sun comes out and uh, it's easy to get trapped in my office doing all the things that I'm doing, but um, I knew I just needed to come out and start enjoying this warmer weather that we're having. Um, it's almost time to actually take a jacket off. It's finally getting warm here. So hopefully, you know, you're enjoying the day and whatever the weather's doing where you are. And um, thank you for tuning in for another one of these episodes. And as you know, uh, every week, I'm here to share some tough love, you know, from the heart here to support you in really opening up to seeing things a different way and starting to dive into maybe different areas of your life or pointing out some things that may be going on that you've been avoiding or that you've been covering up. So as you know, uh whether this is the first time you're watching one of these or you've been watching for a while, um, you know, everything here comes with so much love. I'm here to support you at your highest. And today is no different. And this is such a big topic. And it's something that's come up in a lot of conversations, actually, just yesterday and today with some clients. I've been having a lot of great chats about this. And it's actually a very personal journey as well that I've had. And it's this whole understanding that control doesn't actually exist. Okay, so here's the tough love. Control is a complete and utter illusion. It is false, fake, non-existent. Just like last week when we talked about perfectionism. It's not really a thing that exists. It's this story and this attachment that we put on it um, or on these words that really, you know, can be a huge detriment to our goals and our life and, and how we want to live. So Speaking specifically about control is is actually kind of like a catch-22, and it's so funny. Uh, I often reflect on this. I mean, I use the language a lot, you know, get back in control of sugar, right? F you know, finally feel in control of your eating habits and your relationship with sugar and choosing uh, when and, and how much to eat. I mean, this is a whole premise that I talk about when I talk about sugar freedom and this lifestyle of freedom. And it's actually funny because, you know, when we think about the word control, and it doesn't actually exist, why am I you uh, redefine that for all of us and, and to start using the word empowered? Okay, when we talk about, you know, uh, our relationship with food and different areas in our life, what we really want is to feel empowered and to feel like we're in the driver's seat. Okay, so, you know, I'm going to keep using the word control, but at a deeper level, it's really about being empowered. It's about feeling that you're in the driver's seat, that you have the confidence and the know-how to make decisions based out of a place of love and power from within you. So that's really what I mean when I'm talking about control, but most people talking about control, and this is, this is really what I wanted to share with you today, is this, this, this belief that... Um, you know, we can control our day or we can control an outcome or we can control somebody else or we can control what we eat, right? Or this, this sense of control that actually is there to support us in feeling safe and feeling stable. And for me very personally, this is why this topic is so near and dear is that I've been through a very radical journey myself with control. I noticed through some of the healing that I've done and the inner work that I've done that, you know, I layered on this need to control and plan and organize as a coping mechanism for my underlying anxiety, which I had ever since childhood. And I kind of layered on this, you know, this attempt to kind of control my environment and control outcomes and control what was going on in my life. And what I started noticing, and this is where it's kind of the catch 22, and maybe some of you can resonate with this is that um, the more I tried to control things, the less they actually went according to plan. And when things didn't go according to plan, because they never do, because control is an illusion, I would get anxious. And it would cause me stress and overwhelm. And I would have this inner turmoil of emotions that would come up. Because control doesn't actually exist. So I thought I was controlling things. I thought I was, you know, setting a schedule and planning my day and, you know, a trip, you know, that was a big one for me was I need to know where I'm, where I'm staying and have all the, uh, all the hostels booked back when I do, did Euro trip, you know, all these areas where control was showing up in my life. And, you know, the universe would come in every single time and show me that control doesn't actually exist. You know, there's something beyond uh, the physical at play and, you know, whatever it is you believe in, we, 
it's it's still underlying the same thing is that we we don't really know what's going to happen and if we can look at last year and learn anything it is that uh that this very fact that control doesn't really exist it's an illusion it's this pretty idea that we have in our head that that makes us feel safe right and there are so many other ways that we can feel safe in our lives and we don't have to use control for that but you know, my inner journey with control has been so empowering. And this is why I wanted to talk about this with all of you today, because when you can begin to lean into trust and surrender, to me, that's the opposite of control and, and empowerment from within, knowing who you really are and stepping into your true authentic self, that is where true freedom comes from. You know, and for me, it was always kind of a really funny, um, um, double-edged sword where I kind of wanted control, but then I also wanted freedom, right? And we can't really step into freedom. And I know a lot of you really relate with that being a high value of yours as well. You know, freedom with food, freedom in your body, freedom in life, freedom in your work, in your relationships, all the places that you want this freedom, but at the same time you want control. And they don't really go hand in hand and they can often trip each other up and lead to a lot of internal turmoil. So I want to plant the seed for you right now so you can start looking for areas in your life where um, you may be trying to control, whether it's a person or a situation or an outcome or even your relationship with food. Oh, Jocelyn, hi. Oh, you can't hear me. Uh Oh, that's no good. Let me check. (laughs) My AirPods may be dead. I hope they're not dead. Um, so I may have to start this one over again. I hope I don't have to start over again. Let's see if I can open this up on my computer and see if I can hear myself. As you all know, technology is not always my friend. (laughs) Okay, it seems to be, seems to be showing up uh, audio on my computer. So I'm not sure what's going on, Jocelyn. Um, Hopefully you can figure it out. But, um, you know, that's really the, the biggest thing, you know, that I think all of us can really do some deep, deep reflection, reflecting and, and work on is seeing where this control mechanism is showing up in our life. And also realizing that, um, you know, no matter what we plan or how we try to control, you know, the universe or whatever you believe in, you know, there's something higher at play that really has another plan in place. I mean, look at how we tried to control things last year, right? We're trying to control all these things, but really there's always something bigger at play. And when you can start to lean into that and learn to trust that flow of life, that is where true freedom comes from. I've, I've seen this myself. I've learned this myself. And I really, uh, you know, can't stress enough the importance of taking a really solid look at control in your life and where that's showing up and also where you're using that as a coping mechanism for some um, insecurity or lack of safety or um, you know void that may be inside you right and then we layer on control to try to feel like we got something and in the next layer of that you know when everything is going crazy in life, we'll use food as that to fill our control bucket, right? Which really is about a deeper rooted feeling of safety. So there's your tough love today. Obviously, this is a huge topic. I hope that that was supportive me just sharing my story a little bit. Obviously, there's so much more to it. I love having this conversation, obviously sharing my own journey with this. It has been honestly the most life-changing thing you know when I was willing to really let go of control and practice which isn't easy I've been a lot of instances where I've really been forced to okay I gotta let go here you know I'm out of control here and getting comfortable with being out of control uh, is so empowering and freeing so I hope that uh, that was supportive I would love to hear your comments below is this something that that you resonate with is this something that you're noticing showing up in your life and if so how is it showing up in your life? Okay. What, what areas are you trying to control? Where are you using this as a coping mechanism or to cover something deeper up? Let's keep the conversation going in the comments below. Thank you so much everyone for tuning in. Hopefully the audio was okay for all of you. I'm going to go and check once I, once I hit end here and I'm looking forward to hearing your, your comments and your thoughts below because this is a biggie and, and, you know, an action item for you and a takeaway, obviously, you know, keeping the conversation going down below, but you know, would be to really sit with this this week. Okay. Really get out your journal, you know, get into meditation and sit with, you know, where am I trying to, to control in my life and where can I allow, let go of that control and also allow myself to step into the energy of surrender and flowing with life instead of constantly fighting against it. Because 
Oh boy, I can't tell you. You know, the more we try to control things, the more the universe laughs, right? I forget that that famous saying, you know, make a plan and God laughs. It's true, right? And we need to find a way to find the, the flow and the joy of kind of ebbing and, you know, going with the flow of life and the day, you know, I can plan my day all I want, but the rest of my day here, you know, I've got some ideas of what I want to get done, but it might not happen. And that's okay. You know, I can't control, you know, maybe someone comes over with an emergency and I can't do the work that I want to do this, this afternoon because that becomes a priority and my whole day gets derailed. That's okay. I'll adjust. I'll do what I needed to do today, tomorrow. Right. And when we can find that deep understanding and go with the flow kind of energy, it really, you know, it, it takes away so much of the inner turmoil and the stress and the overwhelm and all that stuff that is so overwhelming. Okay. So there's your inspiration to, to focus on this and work on it. And I cannot wait to hear from you below and we'll see you again. Same time, same place next week. Bye everyone.